Give him guts. I told you I wasn't going away. You got your shot. Now give me mine. Why should you get the hell out of here? Shout man. I ain't going nowhere. Hey, why don't you tell all these nice folks why you've been ducking me? Holler at you man. Shout out, boy, man. I ain't going nowhere. They want to tell all these nice folks why you've been ducking me. Politics, man. This country wants to keep me down. Keep everybody weak. They don't want a man like me to have the title because I'm not a puppet like that fool up there. You know, you've got a big mouth, you know? Who wants to come out and close the bad boy? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Guy's crazy. Don't listen to him. The little man don't want to come to me. Then I'll come to you people and lay off the truth. I am ranked number one. One! That means I'm the best. But this bomb is taking the easy match. Fight another bomb. I'm telling you and everybody here, I'll fight him anywhere, anytime, for nothing. Fight him! Fight him! But you people ain't never gonna see it happen because he's gonna retire. You see, he don't fight no real man. He fights himself. What? You're as disgraced in this sport. Shut up, old man! You that jump to know where to come from! Bad boy, your family doing real nice, ain't it? You call yourself a fighter? Prove it now! Give me that same chance! The way he been ducking is disgrace. If he ain't no coward, why don't he fight me then? I can't listen any more of this hey, anytime. I don't care what you rank! You don't get no shot, and I mean that! Hey, woman! Listen here. I bet you stay up late every night dreaming you had a real man, don't you? I tell you what, bring your pretty little self over to my apartment tonight, and I'll show you a real man. Yo, what up, fellas? What up, fellas? How's all my retained gang doing this evening? How's all my real retainers doing this evening? It's your man in the building, bro. The Shave Lion King, bro. And I'm back, fellas. I'm back. You know how I get down. I'm back, man. And I want to let y'all know something, man. Right off top, bro. Right off gate, bro. So you know what kind of energy you got to have when you're in the presence of a real retainer, bro. Okay? We are not equals, homeboy. I want you guys to understand something right now. We hear so many guys out here that's so full of themselves. They're so full of their pride, bro. Watching their hairline just fall back inch by inch, bro. Every single year because they out here walking around with depleted balls and nuts and don't understand that they releasing all their vital minerals and nutrients, okay? And now their body's in depletion. All right. And they have all these elements happening to them. All of these men out here think, think that they are equals to a retainer. Guys, let me explain something to you. Okay. It's okay to have confidence. That's what you deserve to have as a man because you got testosterone. You deserve to have some confidence, bro. But anytime a man has taken it upon himself, to go on a venture, a journey, okay, so deep, bro, such as retention, so he could actually find the true gifts that he had within him, okay, and then you have all these regular people out here, all these fappers, all these coomers out here, bro, who end up thinking, man, that they on the same level as Goku, <laughs> they on the same level as Captain Planet, <laughs> These guys have not put in an effort of work, bro. Not, not even a percent of what a retainer has gone through. And they like to draw comparisons, thinking that they can do the same things as we can do. Well, I'm here to testify on the, the half behalf of the retainers and let you guys know one thing, that we are not equals. Okay, this doesn't mean that I'm better than you as a person. This just means that I have put in more effort than you. Therefore, I'm going to get more results than you. Okay, so this means that we are not equals. Okay, this means that I'm on a different tier. This means I'm on a higher level. Okay, doesn't mean anyone is better than you. It's just letting you know where you are sitting. And if you're comfortable with going out in your life, man, and continuing to only get the minimum out of life, then you keep doing your journey. And the retainers on this side of the veil, bro, are going to keep rising upwards because I'm going to tell you something. I've done a lot of things in my life, and I mean a lot, okay? I have showed the utmost discipline throughout my life. I, was, I told you guys I'm going to reference this for a story, okay? I was a Division I athlete, okay? I was a starting running back, okay? And when I tell you guys that we put in so much effort, so much energy, so much work 
as a Division I athlete. I kid you not, especially like a football player. I think it's funny I see these guys out here who go to the Army, who go to the Navy, who go to the military, and it's no disrespect to you. But I tell you the truth. If you were to go put one of those military guys in the rink with one of us during our prime, I can pretty much guarantee that the football player is going to trounce whoever you put in there unless they got some serious martial arts skills. Okay. So when I tell you that we have put in that kind of effort and that kind of discipline into our craft and the regular people around us are not equal. This is the same picture I'm trying to draw to you as you are on this journey retaining your seed. There's going to be a serious gap. There is going to be a serious, serious difference between a real retainer and someone who is not, okay? The intellect is going to be one of the main parts, okay? Or the way that someone carries themselves, the way that someone presents themselves, the way that someone carries themselves and other people are now, you know, mirroring that back to you, meaning that you're getting that treatment that you are now putting out. Okay. You're one of these people now who are walking out here in true authenticity. Okay. We are not equals. Okay. People are drawn to people who retain sexual life force energy. It's a warming energy. It's a Christ-like energy. It's an energy that promotes healing. It's an energy that promotes trust, bro. And people can see it and feel it. This is why all these Christ figures who came before us had such an attraction power to them, okay? Because they were carrying this energy, all right? It was nothing from out of this world. It was something that was always inside of us that ignited our godhood. Okay, I told you, it rises up your spine and it ignites that crown chakra, bro. Okay, which now opens that penile gland, whether it was calcified or not. All right. And now you're seeing things on a whole nother level, bro. You're living in a true game, bro, but you're able to control it. And instead of being like the NPCs of the world, bro, who are just a part of the game, you're in there now doing what you want. You are now that iris. You are now that Neo. You are now that one. Okay. We are not equals because everybody is not doing this. All right. Most people cannot do this. Okay. This is what sets us apart. All right. This is what shows you who the real ones really are. Okay. Because the real ones down here, bro, are going to want to reach their highest potential. Okay. They're not going to be out here satisfied with everything that's going on in life, okay? I want more than this. I wake up every single day, bro, and all I can say is I want more to life because whatever I'm doing right now is not satisfying me, okay? Work is not satisfying me. Making YouTube videos is not satisfying me. I'm hungry for more, okay? And this is why I'm telling you right now off top that we are not the same, <laughs> that we are not equals because the average man out there is content with what he has. The average man out there is content with being in a relationship where he is strictly a provider, okay? Sacrificing his life for a family. And there's nothing wrong with that. But I doubt that man has gone within and retained that seed and discovered the options that he has to be great. And if he were to see that path, okay, his whole mind state would change. And this is what I want you guys to understand, okay? This is what it's going to do to you, bro, all right? You are now that person. People are going to hate on you, man. They're going to hate on you so bad, bro, because you're out here doing things that people can't do, all right? They really going to find a way to hate on you, bro. They're going to stare at you. You're going to catch so many people staring at you, bro. You're going to just catch it all day long out of your peripheral, bro, okay? Because these people are studying you, man. They want to know what it is that you got. Why are you so different? How is your style so different? Your energy is different. Just the way that you're looking at people, just the way that you make eye contact with people, just how you can perceive an energy before you even have met the energy, bro. You are tapped in. We are not equals, bro. <laughs> you are not doing this, man. You sitting at home playing with your sticky nuts, bro, playing video games all day. 
You sitting in your room, bro, hadn't came out your room in three days, bro. Haven't showered in three days, bro. Haven't shaved in three days, bro. At right now, and I will go bald, chat. All it takes is one baby Leon. One baby Leon, chat, and I will go bald. Let's do it. Let's do it, chat. Who gonna make me bald tonight? Who gonna make me in three days, bro? Room smelling like booty hole and Cheetos. This is what you doing, man. Okay? And you know it. This is what you doing. So there's no way that we are equal. And this is what I'm trying to use to ignite that fire in your ass to get you to understand that you've been procrastinating, bro. And you letting somebody like me get further and further ahead when the actuality, the truth of the matter was is you already had a head start on me. Okay. You've, you've had a head start on me. I had to hit rock bottom. So if you didn't have to hit rock bottom, then you obviously have a head start. All right. And you procrastinate. And now I done lapped you, bro. And let me explain something to you. This is a hard race to try to come back from. You ain't just going to come and catch me and lap me now. All right. <laughs> There's going to be paces put on you, bro. And, I, and I'm one of those dudes that never lost once I got ahead of you. Okay. Ask anybody. I'm a, I'm a serious sprinter. So imagine how much further that you are behind. What are you doing with you guys' life, man? Why are you still sitting here, bro, making excuses, bro, really trying to compare yourself to someone, bro, who has gone and done the most ultimate hardest test that mankind has ever faced, which is restraining himself from beautiful, gorgeous goddesses, okay, who have been tricked into being, you know, in their lower sexual nature, which we know that's a powerful thing to do. That's a hard thing to do, ain't it, guys? Okay, but this is what we have to deal with. And now you understand how you cannot compare yourself to someone who has now gone within, who has now turned his back on all of this madness and foolishness, bro. And is leading by example and trying to help everybody out here, bro, rise to be their highest self, man. Then I'm telling you, you've missed the bus, bro, and you better start running or you're never going to catch up. All right. It is important for you as a man to be retaining your seat at this time, gentlemen. OK, it is going to help you. It is going to guide you. OK, it is going to make sure that you stay on the correct path, bro, and make the right decisions. OK, at a time where you might not even have the answers. All right. This is where you're going to have to go within. You're going to have to trust yourself. But how can you trust yourself, bro, when you have no energy? OK, you're low vibrational. You're letting frequencies and spirits and other people's opinions come in and sway your mind from what you know is the truth, all right? And this is what I'm not going to sit out here and, and, and let people do, okay? This is why I'm here. I'm here to show you guys that you can think from a whole higher frequency in your brain. You just got to unlock it. All right. And you could still have swag. You could still be cool. You could still act, you know, go in your lower shockers from time to time and act a certain way. But it's time for you guys to grow up, man, because now you have the truth and you know what's going on out here. And it's time for you to put it upon yourself, bro, to change the outcome of the things that are going on in your life. All right. And it starts with you. So that's all I wanted to tell you guys. All right. I didn't want to come on here long. All right. I just want to get straight to the point and let you guys understand, bro. There's a big difference between retainers and non-retainers. We are not equal. Okay. We've gone through a lot. We've gone through a metamorphosis. We've gone through a super transformation. Okay. We are now Dragon Ball Z, Goku Black. Okay. You're not messing with us, bro. All right. And you know that because you can see it all up in our demeanor and you know what kind of people we are, all right? So that's all I wanted to tell you guys. I want you guys to stay on your hustle, bro. Don't ever give up, man. Listen, don't ever give up, bro, okay? And remember, man, when you get to this level, you're gonna say, man, it was worth everything that I went to to get to this point. I promise you, man, because you ain't gonna falter, bro. You're gonna be solid every single day. People can trust you, people can count on you, bro. And that's the kind of leadership that we need. So I appreciate you guys for being here, man. I'm about to dip. I love you guys. You guys have a good weekend, man. And I'll try to come back tomorrow with the Retainers Hotline. Until then, fellas, I love you guys. You guys have a great night. Peace, fellas. I will not stage. Stay Even if I must sacrifice my life.